The meeting is, returns to order. All right, we're going to try and get through B22 as quickly as we can before 1 o'clock. B22 is December is good enough. Uh, it is a motion to change the cutoff for Hugo nomination pools from January to December. We have eight minutes of debate set. Ms. Fazard, as the first mover listed, would you like to make an opening speech or would you like to yield to one of the other? Uh, I will just answer questions as necessary. Um, I think these, I, I'm sorry, I'm Colette Fazard. I'm one of the movers of the motion and I will just answer questions, I think, but I think it's fairly clear and simple. Is there anyone wishing to speak against the motion? Over there. And please state your name into the okay. microphone. Dennis Caswell, I'd like to speak against it because if we're going to try to end the nominations in December, works that were first published in December would have a very difficult time of getting onto the nomination ballot. This, sorry, is, your name? this is not a Sir, cutoff for nominations, this is a cutoff for which. Sir, members? can I get your name? Sorry. Dennis Caswell. Ah. This is a cutoff for which members can nominate, not when nominations themselves would begin or end. <laughs> is there is there a speech in favor? Miss Neal. Terry Neal, and I will repeat what Mr. Dashoff said that this this is not has anything to do with what works may be nominated for the Hego. It is entirely on what the pool of nominators will be. Currently, if you are not a member of the seated Worldcon or the following Worldcon by the end of January, um, then you cannot nominate. This would change that to be, n you must be a member of, the, of an appropriate Worldcon before the end of December. It's just about members, not about works. Is there another, Mr. Walling, for what purpose does the member rise? I wish to call the question. Is there an objection to calling the question? All right, how many people still wish to speak? Oh, God. All right, this requires a two-thirds vote in favor. All those in favor of calling the question, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed, please raise your hands. I'm going to say the ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. The question is called. Now on the matter of the um, item of business, December is good enough. All those in favor of first passage of December is good enough. Please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? All right, the ayes appear to have it. They do have it. The motion receives first passage. I would now like, since we've got just a little bit of time left, unanimous consent to move up defining North America and take that up now. Is there any objection to that? <laughs> seeing none we're, we're seeing none we're going to move to B.27 uh, which is on page if you 23. give me 23 it's a motion to reinsert a definition of North America right, hang on let me get to it Okay. To reinsert a definition of North America into the Constitution, uh, maker of the motion is Where's the nitpicking and fly specking committee. Uh, Mr. Stanley, as a member of the committee, would you like to make a yes? As I, am I not mistaken? The only member of the committee is not on the head table, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse is not here. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, uh, as explained in the, our original report, we're just simply trying to give a definition of North America that doesn't lead to known absurd, uh, probably known absurd results. We have inadvertently created a situation where if a Worldcon were selected in Hawaii, which is perfectly plausible as Hawaii did come second in a field of four in 1990, uh, we would end up having to also hold a NASFIC. Now, it's possible that some of you want that. Yeah. 
<laughs> However, I don't believe, I'm, and I believe the committee does not believe that was actually the intent when we dropped the zone definitions out of the Constitution. We therefore uh, explicitly add Hawaii as a uh, by uh, as a part of the since it's a part of the United States of America as a state to the definition of North America. I would note, however, that the way which time really? yeah it's oh, there were only right. two minutes of debate. Okay, I used it a lot. Then. Um, is there anyone who wishes to speak against the motion? Um, Mr. Chairman, I would like to ask for two minutes of yielding of questions that I would yield for if you would, uh, if the members would be willing to extend it. Is there unanimous consent to extend debate to yield for questions for two minutes? Yes. Yes. You, that, that's that's a minute on a minute on top of that, right? For them, they get a minute to talk. Yeah, they have a minute of speech against okay. Mr. Matthews. Please come to the microphone and then ask your question of Mr. Stanley. Winton Matthews, as part of my job, I work with geography and what have you. Alaska and the District of Columbia are considered to be normally part of North America. Hawaii is the questionable one. So why are you adding in the including clause Alaska and the District of Columbia? Mr. Chairman, that's a very good question. And that's because of the parliamentary principle that when you have an enumerated list Anything not of the, or anything of the same class not on that list is excluded, and therefore we include Hawaii, Alaska, and the District of Columbia as parts of the United States for this purpose. But we do not include Guam, American Samoa, or odd islands that are U.S. territory. Puerto Rico is eligible on its own as a portion of the Caribbean. Well, uh, you, I'm able to debate okay. at that point. Okay. Okay. Is there anyone else who wishes to ask a question? Darcy Connedy. Uh, I just want to know what happens if Texas secedes. <laughs> <laughs> the chair feels that it would be, I mean the um, chair, the member feels this would be a, a, a waste of time to answer. All right, are there any other questions for Mr. Stanley? I would ask that but yes, but he was standing first. I would ask that members who can use the microphone do use the microphone before we start passing the microphone around. Aaron Davies, uh, just in the interest of nitpicking, what is the definition of Central America? Do we mean Panama and everything north? Yep. The, Panama is the southernmost country in, in Central America. Thank you. Are there Central America. Central yes. America, sorry. Uh, Ms. Sullivan, are you... Asking a question of Mr. St <coughs> Jerry Sullivan, wondering why it is that we're putting Central America in North America. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the reason Central America is included in the definition of North America is his, for historical purposes, based on the fact that it's a descendant of our original definitions of North America for the purpose of World Con site selection. Are there any other questions for Mr. Stanley? Wait, are you going too fast? I'm Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Seeing no questions for Mr. Stanley, I'm going to take a speech against the motion, Mr. Buff. Warren Buff, I oppose this motion because I think it does away with a little bit of fanish whimsy. I like the idea that we can at least joke about a Reykjavik Nasvik bid because Reykjavik is on the North American continental plate. So I encourage you to oppose this motion so that we can keep being silly. <laughs> Is there anyone else wishing to speak against the motion? Yes. You have approximately 30 seconds. 40 seconds. 40 seconds. Great. Uh, Jay, Jason Spitzer. Um, I'm assuming based on what I've heard today that a NASFIC is mandatory in a year when we don't have a con in North America. Putting aside any changes we might make to make the NASFIC more like Eurocon and have one every year should we choose to. What I'm wondering is if we've dropped zone definitions, you know, I understand the Hawaii issues, but let's just keep going with it. Whimsy aside, 
we can figure out when to hold an ASFIC. I, I have more faith in us than that. And I, I feel, Mr. Chairman, that um, if we want to hold an ASFIC in the year, we have a con in Hawaii. Woohoo. Is there anyone else wishing to speak against the motion? There's like 10 seconds left. Seeing none, I'm going to put the question to the floor. All those in favor of uh, North America, yeah, defining North America, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. The motion passes. It is now 1246. Is there a motion to adjourn for the day? Is it? Yes. We need to set an internet making meeting. What time is it? <laughs> it is so resolved. What? What? Yes, I'm, I'm getting there. All right. Is there any objection to adjourning for the day? I'm going to make, I just before I click the gavel, I'm going to get there. So there's an informal, um, question and answer session in this room about EPH, EPH plus, and the associated systems. Mr. Dr. Andrew one. Adam, one. at one, right after this meeting. Dr. Adams' committee will meet in at two o'clock, which is one hour after uh, the close of this meeting in this room. Site selection closes at 6 p.m. today, so if you haven't voted, go vote. Did I miss any announcements? Yes, the nitpicking. The nitpicking and fly specking committee, please, if you're interested in being on that committee, just come up to the head yeah. table and we'll the open meeting. The open meeting. Just come up to the head table and we'll figure out a time that works for the majority of us. All right. It is now 12:48. We stand adjourned for the day. Yay.